Holy freaking moly, guys, that Ant-Man and the Wasp trailer was such a fantastic trailer. I mean, look, potentially one of the best I've seen in a while. I'm talking up there with Spider-Man No Way Home and those trailers, guys. This got me so hype for Ant-Man. I'm seeing a lot of comments from people saying that, hey, it, get them, it gets them out of the kind of phase four slump that a lot of people were in. Now, I'm speaking for myself here. I love phase four, but I understand that there's a bit of a slump there and hopefully phase five is gonna reunite us all we can usher ourselves into the mcu and continue to enjoy more marvel content we got some better looks at king the conqueror throughout the trailer and a weird shot of modok ah, good god there were so many goodies to break down guys so let's have a look at this trailer and answer some questions like does scott lang die in the movie but before we dive in guys go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button if you're new to the channel the name's leo rydell thank you for tuning into the video let's dive into this guys well this quote definitely seems to lend to the theory that scott lang can die in the movie i don't have to win we both just have to lose Seems like Scotty about to make a sacrifice, y'all, but I'll be real. It seems like to me he won't be the one to die, but it'll be like a variant or something like that. <laughs> seeing this scene where it seems like there's a variant or there's another Scott coming in, I could totally see it being not our Scott that ends up going, but it's the other Scott. Maybe it's some type of maneuver where one Scott sacrifices himself, the other one survives. That can get really, really trippy if we're getting super multiversal and super into variants and things. They could do that and really take another variant from another universe, and that's maybe the Scott that ends up sacrificing himself. I don't know. You guys gotta let me know. Do you think Ant-Man is gonna die? But, I mean, it could be Scott. But we all know from trailers, especially from Multiverse of Madness, and how that trailer illustrated that the Illuminati would be a lot more important than they ended up being in the movie. So, it could very well just be a couple of misdirects here, and maybe it's just... Hey, it seems like it's gonna be Scott that dies, but it's Hope that bites the, the, the dust, and I definitely think... I definitely think she's on the chopping block. I think her, Hank Pym, Janet Van Dyne, I think that those three are definitely going to end up dying, unfortunately. And then it could leave Scott and Cassie because there is a quote in the trailer, something along the lines of, He can give us a second chance. And maybe it does end up that way that they end up together, but it's only those two. So then no Hope, no Janet, no Hank, but they are the ones to pass on the Ant-Man and the Wasp mantle. I think Hank Pym is for sure gone, but you gotta let me know down in the comments, do you think Scott is doomed? Cause I think it's highly possible, but it could be Ant-Man and the Wasp and the and Ant-Man is Scott and then Cassie Lang is the new Wasp. Maybe, maybe, you guys gotta let me know. With Guardians of the Galaxy 3 coming out this year too, it seems like we went from grief in phase four to trauma. But let's talk about Kang, guys, because Jonathan Majors looks phenomenal in this Kang suit, guys. Look at this. A better, cooler look at the suit, guys. It just looks so dope. Kind of has this mechanical-like look where it's not necessarily Iron Man, but it's got a sleeker, shinier look to it. And it sounds like he makes some kind of deal with Scott to borrow time. We can give you the one thing you want. What's that? And Scott, likely thinking he'll help, is going to miss something in that bargain. It sounds like he's going to lend Scott a little bit more time, maybe some more time with Cassie. Not entirely sure where he's going there, but it sounds like he didn't really read the contract. Whatever kind of deal they have, there's going to be some kind of stipulation because it sounds like Kang is going to demolish Ant-Man. Like, it sounds like... He's ready to go. And I, I'm i I'm nervous for Scott, man. The suit looks a lot like the one from the comics, more sleek and modernized. It just looks good. And those blue beams, man, this is magic. This is chef's kiss. And this is also Jonathan Major's year. Cause not only is he in Ant-Man and the Wasp in February, he's gonna be in Creed 3 opening up March. And he's also in a film at Sundance. This man is going to have a hell of a year. I've loved following his career since he's been in the last Black Man in San Francisco. So I'm looking forward to more, but you guys gotta let me know what you thought of the Ant-Man trailer. 
because it seems like Kang came to conquer, y'all. Am I right? Let's also talk about this quick update from MCU producer Nate Moore. Switching gears a little bit here. He revealed in the Deadline Crew Call podcast that he's excited to bring the X-Men to the MCU, y'all. I am too. I mean, seriously, give me, give me all the X-Men, including my favorite Storm, which when he was asked about other black superheroes he'd like to see in the MCU, he sounded particularly excited about Storm and Bishop. On the podcast, he said, there's no secret the X-Men are coming home. And boy, if you talk about Storm and Bishop, they're two of the greatest characters in the franchise that I could certainly pitch you ideas all day of. Now, hey, that sounds like a great, great opportunity to get a storm movie possibly brewing and early in the works but when asked if there are any directors for any x-men films more clarified that no we're early 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 days of this yeah so still not a ton of progress on the mutant stuff but the intrigue to get more storm is there she's been sort of mistreated in the x-men live action films like i remember the 90s series and the x-men comics she's like a leader of the team she's a central character in this team in this lineup and in the movies she felt like such a side character look i'm not gonna say much about halle berry because i like x2 i like her as storm in that movie but i also see so much sidelining of this character not only with her role but also the young actress who played her in the second iteration of x-men films she's just been pushed to the side every single time and i hope possibly potentially somehow we could get a bigger role for storm in the mcu and in the mutants and live action movies going forward and it, of course it'd be great to get bishop but y'all gotta let me know what did you think of the ant-man and the wasp trailer do you think scott lang is dying and if so let me know why if not let me know do you think hank hope and janet also go then do you think it's those three and scott survives let me know your theories and thoughts down in the comments what do you think about kang the conqueror because i'm gonna be real with y'all now i feel like i'm team kang <laughs> after watching that trailer but let me know your thoughts down in the comments and hey if you're new to this channel and you ain't viewed the channel before hit that subscribe button for your boy and y'all we'll see you next time on geekly goods